Muhammad, the owner of a furniture shop, wants to calculate the final price, total amount plus sales tax amount of the furniture items in his store. He has created the worksheet shown here for this purpose. The sales tax amount is 8.6% of the total amount. Can you help him in this task? First of all, open Excel 2013 and start creating the worksheet. After creating the worksheet as shown, select cell D2 and type inverted comma start equal to B2 multiply with C2 inverted comma closed and click enter. The result of the operation will appear in cell D2. Then select the cell D2 and using the autofill handle, drag it to the cell range D3 to D5. You will notice that the formula used in D2 has also been applied to the cell range D3 to D5. Notice that the formula uses relative reference. So the cell D3 to D5 displays the values as per the cell reference. Now select cell E2 and type inverted comma start equals to D2 multiply dollar $B dollar $7 inverted comma closed and click enter. Here D2 is relative reference and B7 is absolute reference. Then select cell E2 and using the autofill handle drag it to the cell range E3 to E5. Wherever the formula is copied only the relative part changes and the absolute part remains the same. So the cell E3 to E5 will display the values as per the mixed cell reference. Now select cell F2 and type inverted comma start equals to D2 plus E2 inverted comma closed and click enter. Finally select cell F2 and using the autofill handle drag it to the cell range F3 to F5. You will notice that the output will look like the one shown here. Before we end, answer this question. Absolute referencing makes use of which of the following symbols? Yes, that's correct.